to get it harvested, but it's really not a big deal. It's such a small amount that will get, uh, that will have to be risked, I guess. In fact, actually, you know what we could do? That's a bit cheeky, but we could just go around the trees, actually. And then that way we wouldn't lose all that much of them. We can do. Might be a bit tight before we've actually hit the tree. Oh yes, very tight indeed. So that's not on. Yeah, maybe that's not the best course of action. <laughs> Nevertheless, we will have a fair amount of uh, straw to deal with once we're done this harvest as well. Which uh, is the reason I'm doing the harvest first and then doing the straw later. Because we absolutely need to get uh, all the harvest done at least focus on uh, the straw afterwards. Now as for the straw, I do intend on uh, putting it into uh, a type of silo, a bit of a storage if you will. Oh, this is where I should be treated. Can't see anything. Right, uh, but yes, I do have a mod in, uh, enabled and in mind to, uh, to store some straw, some bales in general, not just straw bales. Uh, but maybe some hay as well, but right now what we have is straw. Literally zero. Okay, good. Not going anywhere. Come on. That's not really a hill, is it? Oh, yeah, not really. Well, I suppose if you look at it from that angle, it is a bit hilly. But, uh, yeah, just in general, this, uh... This harvester has definitely been a challenge to use. Um, I do intend on looking at other options once this harvest is done. Uh, as I said, I was tempted to sell it and swap over to a new uh, harvester before we even finish this harvest, but I'm glad I kept it. It really did uh, humble the harvest, if you will. Uh, and then, yes, of course, we will go through and um, we might as well row up if we can the straw here. Um, the harvest itself should be a relatively quick job uh, once we actually start kind of going and getting the feel for it. The headland always takes the longest though. Uh, I think at this point we'll probably just turn along the edge there. On the far side. We missed a bit. Yeah, it's a nice, nice bit of, uh, of oat there. I don't know what we're going to do with all this oat, but at least we'll have it. We can also store it, so that's really good. Right, yeah, we'll just have to we'll just have to go this way and sacrifice just a bit of the grain. Um, maybe the first person would be best for this job. Because then we can stay as close to the trees as possible without um, hitting them. They do make it quite difficult to maneuver up those trees there. 
that's not too bad. It's not too bad. I mean, we have to get it done in some, in some capacity. And, uh, and now we can go up and down the field without much, uh, much concern. Probably going to hop back to the other side there, just with how slow going up the hill here is. Hopefully we don't hit any trees on the way. Now we should be fine. Right, I think now's a good time to break off into a time lapse and get the oat harvested. Right, well there we have most of the oak done. Um, I know that was quite a uh, longer than usual sort of time lapse to be honest, um, but I really wanted to get the majority if not all of the oat harvest done in one go because we have had the other fields and we've been harvesting for a few episodes now and it's been a challenge <laughs> to say the least with the harvesting, but it is getting done. And uh, we are nearly done at this oat harvest, I think by the end of it we'll probably have nearly 5,000 litres of oat, which uh, does seem all right. It, it makes this harvester makes all of the harvests feel like they go on for ages. These are not big fields, but it's a very small harvester. But luckily, it's worked out really nicely for us, to be honest. Maybe we won't hit quite another 500 litres. <laughs> we'll be lucky to hit 100 litres if we crack on. There is a bit on the edges as well that I'll probably tend to. Um, but now that we have this done, I, uh, I would definitely want to get the rowing done. I feel like... I wonder if that's something I should try and put a helper on. The only reason I don't really want to do... to use helpers... Well, one, I wanted to go as long as I could without needing helpers or using them. Um, but also, once the tractor is occupied by a job, that's that's the job for the tractor. There is no nothing else we really can do. I do have a few other things that I'd like to do uh, around the farm, so I will show you what those are here in a moment. But now that we are done, officially done the oat, nearly, I will tidy up the bits here, get this oat loaded in to the silo, and then uh, we can move on to the rowing. Alright, so I think I'm going to try a helper on this just a helper from the village come down you know they saw my uh, my need for help in the local pub and uh, they've come down to help I don't know how this is going to go because of how non straight the lines are the uh, swaths are all over the place but I do think this will help hopefully they put it into a nice um, a nice row but I guess we'll see. I'm just going to leave it up to them. It's not a big problem. Uh, let's get this loaded in, though. We do have 4,612 litres of oat going into the silo. 
Now I can't remember exactly what the max capacity of the silo is, but what are we at now? What is the total here? Ooh. 8 and 4, 12... Okay, yeah, so we don't we really don't have much uh, room for much else in that silo, but luckily for us we, uh, we do have all small-scale things anyway, so that is fine. Let's see how that uh, is getting on. Hey, that's really good. That is really nice, that. Oh, yeah. So much better. Oh, see, now it would be brilliant to have another tractor. Oh, what do you mean you're done? I don't believe you. Let's check the sales. I'm just going to check very quickly. Oh, I was hoping for something affordable. I would really love to have an upgrade to the Massey. Upgrade in size, of course. We don't have to get rid of the 35. But, uh, yeah, that would be nice. Blimey. A bit out of our budget for the moment. Right, okay, so what my plan of attack here now is, now that we have here, I'm just going to raise up a bit to the sky, fly around a bit. So, here's the farm. As you can see, we've got chickens on the right, we've got a shed, a silo, a greenhouse, it's all coming together really nicely. Now here's my plan for the yard. Now I do intend on getting other animals in the future, and they might be able to fit in this area here. But my plan, because if you look at how flat this is, this is all very nice area, very flat indeed, perfect for building a yard. So I think this is where the, uh, the farm is going to be. The farmyard, I should say. Now, initially it was here and I was going to extend it as I needed. But what I've decided is I think I'll go straight up to here. I might uh, tidy up this field here. I'll re replow or something, the oat. Bring it a little tighter in and come straight across here. That way all of this can be yard space. And I think that's a pretty good idea. But we'll see how it all comes, to, uh, comes together. The first thing we need to do here is this sorted. Here, I'll just move them out the way. Right, so at least the helper is helping. Um, it's alright of a job, <laughs> but now it just, ah, uh, it's a bugger because we need another tractor. If we're going to use a helper for anything, we do need another tractor to be able to do the other things. So in this case, we need to bail, more importantly. Um, unfortunately, we can't row and bail at the same time. So, I really don't know what to do. What can we... Can we buy a second very small tractor? Right, so let's go to the very end and just look at price. Okay, so we can afford a few small tractors, but they are very small. That is very small. Is that even worth it? With how small it is. But it is only £4,000, something we can buy right now. Uh, what else do we need to buy? Nothing imperative that we can't sort later on uh, by cutting some more trees or something. I would really like to upgrade to something like this. This would be absolutely incredible to have on the farm. I know we have the Landini on Land of Italy, but I think the Massey equivalent of it would be brilliant on this series. Or another Massey, doesn't matter which one. Price-wise, though, yeah, our best chance of getting something cheap would be the Zetor or another uh, Massey 35. Have we been blocked again? Of course. Of course we have. Um, I think that's fine. Now, I am going to try and set a helper off on this as well. Uh, no, let's do this one first. The reason I want to do this side first is because all of this is the same straw, whereas that is um, linseed straw. So I don't really want to... Uh, yeah. Now this field is silly in its shape, in the sense that, um, what's the best way to do it? Honestly, I'm just going to start it on one side and just hope that it can manage all the way through. Um, might have to tidy it up a bit ourselves afterwards, but yeah, what else can we do really? Oh, okay, sure. Honestly, it doesn't matter that it's not following the rows that we made. If, with the helper, it's just going to go up and down. It's going to put it into a nice row anyway, so it doesn't really matter 
how it goes. But anyways, that is something we can let the helper crack on with. Uh, in the meantime, I think I will... I really want to buy another tractor. I just, I don't think it makes sense to do. Because we want to get the front loader for this. Although, we do have loads of trees still that we need to get. Well, not loads of trees. We actually are running out of trees to cut down now. But we do have these three massive trees here. Uh, and this one as well is on our land. So as far as uh, money, we do have trees that can bring some money in. We do have eggs that we can sell in the future. We will have lettuce that we can sell in the future as well. Might as well check on that stuff now, just to see. Um, eggs, I believe... Oh, no, that's definitely the wrong thing. Right, so it's saying here eggs are really good right now. 33.10, blimey. So they are best in November, but we only have <clears throat> a handful anyways. I'm missing that mod, the uh, time-saving stock check. I haven't included it for some reason in this series. Don't know why. But we should do. Right, lettuce. Wow, the farmer's market is a really good price. Same with this Max fella. Hmm. I wonder if we were to... Now, I don't think we can lift these by hand. No, we can't. They're too heavy. We really only have a thousand litres worth here, though. So that would be about three thousand pounds. <laughs> which is pretty good. <laughs> and then if we sell eggs as well, that's another three thousand. That's six thousand pounds. But that means we have to sacrifice the time away from this tractor doing its job. Hmm. Right, this is, this in itself is a bit of a challenging part. It's doing really well on this, though. Would it make sense to buy another small tractor? I think it would. Whether we whether we sell the... Yeah, well, yes, yes, absolutely. I think we will. We can always sell it in the future, but I think I'm going to buy another very small tractor. Uh, we'll check the sales again. No, of course not. Um, let's have a look at the kit we have. So the row can pretty much be done with any tractor. 80, yeah, that's fine. Uh, the baler, though, will need something a bit more... Not much more. So, yeah, really, we can either get another Massey, or we can go for this very inexpensive Z-Tor. Now, which is the better bang for buck is what I'm going to do. All that, 42. 37. How do we get to 45? It's going to be 7,000 pounds. Where is it? There it is. So we got 4,000, 5,000. Oh. Oh, there's the 42. Is it more money? Oh, it's not. Hey, that's pretty good. So 42,000. Oh, it's going to be 200 anyways. Right, okay, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let the helper crack on. I'm going to have a very quick look in the in the shop here, just so I can have a proper look off camera at the different tractor options, because we need to get we need to crack on. And it will be good to have a second small tractor as well. Eventually, maybe we'll sell both and buy something new, we don't know. But anyways, I'll have a look in the sales, or in the shop rather, see what's good, and we'll go from there. All right, well, as you can see, I've decided against buying a new tractor. I instead am going to start cutting down these trees. Now, the reason I've decided against buying a new tractor or another tractor is because it's just a bit of an impulsive thought to try and essentially fast-track what we're doing, which is not what this series is about. This, there's no absolutely no uh, timeline or rush for this series. It is a survival challenge series for that reason, so I think... I'm going to crack on exactly as we've been doing, uh, with the one tractor for now for as long as I can, uh, which is something I really, again, just part of the challenge. I just I like that as part of the challenge. So that being said, uh, most of the time I am doing my uh, logging and that off camera anyways, so I think we'll let the helper crack on. The nice thing is I can put the helper onto another field once it's done this, and I will still be uh, cracking on with uh, the wood stuff, so at least we can put this in to the lorry and uh, one, uh, at least one tree. I think what we'll do is I'll just cut these trees down until the helper's done. Look at these rows, they look so good. 
really, really top work, that. So yes, I will let this helper crack on. We'll get some more trees done. I'll see if I can save some of my voice here from not rambling on too much. And uh, once the trees are cut, at least we can, yeah, move on from them. And here we are, ready to sell some lumber. Now, the nice thing is about this, well, not the nice thing, but we did have the uh, capacity loading here for grain, which we can't strap down. As you can see here, we can't strap anything down. So we can only do one and a half of the trees, which sold for so little. Is it the time of year or something? I really expected to get more than that for, for two tree or a tree and a half. But I suppose when we were doing it, we were doing like five trees at a time. So yeah, that's why we got what we got. Maybe we're just uh, getting too greedy with the price of lumber that we were getting before. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the helper is getting on really nicely. <coughs> it, uh, they did finish up in the oak fields. Now I've set them on to the linseed, so we shall see how that is getting on uh, once we arrive back, which we now have done. So let's just park up over here, because we do have, as you can see, there's a tree there, and there's a cut-up tree here. Um, but yeah, I guess doing all right so far. Just park this up here for now. Uh, right, see, so yeah, I did set it off as straight as possible again. But um, yeah, so far so good. Doing all right, I think. Yeah, it's fine. I really just am going to leave it at, at what it's doing. And uh, in the meantime, as you can see, I've got one and a half trees left here. Well... No, I suppose really, we only brought about one tree, so we should get about, f I'm going to guess, five and a half thousand from this load. So I'll get these trees loaded into here, we'll take it down to the cell point, and see how the helper gets on in the meantime. And here we are once again at the wood cell point, and I said about five and a half. Oh, what's happened? Three thousand two six hundred... Is that, oh, maybe that's all it can take here. Right, well, we'll take these over to the other cell point, and luckily we have another cell point. Yes, it was a very precarious uh, trip down here, because we can't strap anything down, so it did make for a bit of, uh, of a very slow journey, but no matter. And we'll go into here, and hopefully we can just sell the rest, because there is a limit on these uh, cell points. Right, another 1,171. So what did I say before? It was at 32, so yeah, I didn't quite hit that number, but no problem. Now I reckon, <coughs> excuse me, by the time that we get back, that the helper will be done, the task at hand. That way, we can actually get some bailing done. Now I don't know if we'll be doing all the bailing in this episode, uh, because we are not nearing the absolute end of the episode, but as I said, being under the weather, feeling a bit ill, just this episode and, and vintage as well, which I've essentially recorded back to back uh, in my early illness days. <laughs> Sounds terrible, but yeah, I did record them back to back. And um, oh, he's done. Oh nope, nearly done, nearly done. Um, so yeah, this is. Uh, uh, hopefully, it's still alright. I am a bit, you know, the brain fog when you're feeling a bit ill and your mind is not quite with it, so hopefully the episode has been coherent and uh, as enjoyable as always, even though I can barely talk. Right, <clears throat> the helper is uh, turning around here unnecessarily. Let's stop them and congratulate them on a job well done. Okay, the far side, that's my fault because I set it up a bit funny. Um, but you know what? I think that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, although I think I will leave the... Actually, no, I'll just do it very quickly myself. I'm just going to tidy up this very last bit uh, so that we are all ready to go for the baling, but we will finish up the wheat field before we crack on into the oat, and then finally we will do the linseed straw as well. Right, so let's lower down the pickup and fire up the baler and crack on with it. Here, we'll try and get lined up nice. We actually... Oh, my bloody hell, what's going on? You know what that is? It's the tracks... Yeah, th it's not so... Yeah. Luckily, this tractor does work with this baler, but having the tracks on, it does make a slight 
precise movements a bit more difficult. Uh, which is fine, because it's a very minor thing. We missed, what, a small amount of straw that we can easily go back and collect. Uh, but the, the good thing about this is, look at that, we've got 64 so far bales of straw. That's pretty good. Pretty good so far, I am very pleased about that. Just get spun round here. Um, yeah, we'll get this small bit. So yeah, like I say, initially we will finish up the wheat here. And uh, how I'd like to end the uh, episode is to place our bale storage. Um, it's I, I might have shown it a couple of times, what my plan is for it. Um, I, I do hope that this does work with it. I, uh, it will, it will, absolutely. With all the faff and all the illness right now, the last thing I need is to troubleshoot something. I already had to do that with American Farming midway through an episode this week, so hopefully not the case this time. Right, that's quite enough rambling. Let's get bailing. Well, we are nearing a full trailer load of bales. Nearing, but not quite. A wonderful hit in. We have to. We must. There's no way we can't hit. So what is the max then? 152 bales. It must be. It has to be. Um, let's see. We must get it. Because I was going to say, if we don't have to store the bales, it would be great. But I think this... Oh, there we go. Officially full. So what I think we can do is just clean up the rest of this straw. As you can see, it's going to go into the baler, but it's not going to be able to go into the trailer, which is fine. Because um, we'll see if we can just... Yeah, we, we've got lots to tidy up, so I think that's fine for now. We'll just leave that as is. Um, <clears throat> as for this trailer full of bales, which is so lovingly... I could not imagine baling 152 small square bales and then having to pick them up all by hand. That would be a different kind of challenge, I think. Um, much more patience-based entirely. <laughs> but we, uh, well, who knows? Who knows indeed? Right, so what I was going to do was place a silo for bales. I was h half in, in two minds to not do it if we were this close to being full, but it would make sense to do it anyways. So, very quickly, again, just to uh, end the episode, I know this has been a bit of a, um, uh, not a, a f uh, action packed or anything, but we are getting lots done. We do have to find our nice gravel, there we go, or as nice as it can get, it's, as long as it's the same. Yeah, brilliant. So we'll get a nice big square there, uh, let's go the circle instead. Now I think when we did the um, when we did this over here in this part it was about a thousand pounds. So I imagine another thousand pounds would make sense. What I want to do is potentially go all the way out this way and up here as well. This field could come down to here and kind of sort of you know like that and then we could have this like that but I don't want to lose too much of that field either. So I guess time will just have to tell. 
Um, here, let's make this a bit smaller and tidy up this edge. Right, there we are. Now, this part does make sense to get as well. I think it does make sense. Yeah, we'll go all the way, same as we've done here. Right, let me just move this kit out of the way here first. Right, so, just carry on with this. I hope it's not going inside there. Oh no, it's fine. Good, good. Good, good, very good. Um, what do you reckon? Should we go like that? Because I, I did want to have a bit of a, an entrance into the farm here. So we could even have it like that. A bit like that. You know what, I think that's fine for now. Um, I really want to sort something for these bales, though. Where to put this sort of bale storage? Let's go into the building silo. So it's all the way at the end here. It is just a tarp, really. It's not even a, a silo. But I think it would be better than putting them just straight onto the ground. So we do need to activate our... What do you call it? Right, there we are. And let's get that placed. We've got buildings, silos, all the way to the end. I like the blue. I think we'll go with the blue one. Uh, there is a grey and a green, but I quite like the blue one. I was thinking of just putting them here, to be honest. Because um, then they're out the way. And uh, the only problem is that we can't really extend the yard if we do that. Or the field. Although we could bring the field around like that. But I do think I'm going to keep going this way more. So, I don't know where to put this. I really don't know. I suppose we could put it here. Ah, uh, go on. You know what? I'm going to put it here because this will more than likely turn into a yard space anyways. So maybe we won't continue using this uh, bale setup or not. I haven't fully decided. But you know what? Let's just place it. Can't be faffing. Right. Uh, let's get these turned off and let's get the bales loaded on. Alright. So I think... I just want to check. Right, so unload bales. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that would... That, so we really, we could put them anywhere, but at least this will keep them nice and organized. So I imagine we could just put them... You know what? Sorry, i got to put these back on because... Right, so it says there to put them. Right, it's a bit confusing. All right, let's just get spun around again. Maybe we'll go along the side. Did it go to the right or the left? It went to the left. So yeah, let's do this. And uh, this should work. Is that is that too far away? Ooh, it's not going to get them all. Right, let me get lined up again. One moment. Just like that should be fine. So we'll hit unload and we'll hit unload. Oh. What's happened there? Oh, I think I know what's happened. So if we... Okay, let's... Lower the loading platform. No. Nope. How do we do that? I'm not entirely certain how to get the bales back in. Because those are going to fall. Oh, that's no good. Why has that happened? I wonder if it was because they weren't close enough to... Right, well, let's try this. Let's just try picking one up and putting it there. Ah, okay. So can we push this whole stack over? Ah, that's fun. There we go. Oh, I see what's happening. It puts them right there. So we really need to get these loaded out of the way. Hmm. What have we done? 
As long as they are not in the way, then I think we're fine. And this is the best way to move them, I think, as well. There we go. Oh, slowly but surely, get them all in there. Come on. Come on. Is there a sneaky one here? There is, indeed. Right, well, there we go. Fantastic! Look at our nice wall of bales, although there are some... Uh, there are some bits of, uh, come and try, trying to come through here. Bit of a bush trying to come through. Right, well, there we have it. Um, I, I wonder if we drive through. Will it take these bales as well? Go on, come on. Brilliant, that is brilliant. Right, let's just get this moved out of the way so we can appreciate our stack of bales a little bit more. <clears throat> there we are. Nope, nope, that's going to bother me until it's changed, so we might as well just take care of it now. Where is my gravel? Big one. Right, there we are. Go all the way around. And around the back as well. Get rid of those bloody bushes. That always just seems so problematic. Nice. Um, Alright, fine. Might as well just go straight up to there as well. I might put some bushes in on the side just to keep us separate. The other thing we'll do is that. Ah, oh, beauty. Look at our bales. I almost wish I had put it the other way so it'd be like a bit of a wall for the outside. But uh, that's fine. And then I think if we want to collect some bales, we have to go somewhere over here. And we can get one bale out. And we'll put it right there. Happy days. Right, well, either we're going to sell all these bales or keep them until we need them for something, which would be cows. But I don't think that's going to happen for some time. We are more than likely just going to sell them. Anyways, that does do it for the end of this episode. I know, as I've said, it's been a bit of a hectic one. Um, just all, all sorts of things happening. We we had a, a couple of larger time lapses, which I don't always do really long time lapses, but it's just the mood. It's just the mood. Anyways, <laughs> as always, I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Even with my illness and sickness here, you can hear. Um, again, I greatly appreciate all the support. It does mean a lot to me, so thank you so much for that. As always, a cheeky thumbs up always helps out the channel and please subscribe so until the next one please do take care and bye for now